Years down the line, Miller is still the jackass he's always been, minus a couple of rough edges that occasionally pushed him forward while also holding him back. The Australian always risks it all, and there is never a need for refinement or filter. There is still a canny racer below that buzz cut, a racer with a fighting spirit. Still in his late 20s, Jack Miller has had his fair share of MotoGP, with over eight years of experience in the Premier class. He's claimed wins and podiums in the Moto3 class and MotoGP since the start of his career, which made the paddock grow very fond of him and considered him to be a very talented rider. As he gears towards 2023, one thing is for sure, he'll have to be at the top of his game. Even without a world championship to his name, the stakes have never been higher for Miller. He's on edge with many talented new riders sprouting endlessly behind him. And now, with his ride with Ducati at an end, we know he's moving on with KTM moving forward for the 2023 season. Will Jack Miller the Aussie finally get the chance he's been looking for to win a world title in MotoGP? Stay tuned to find out what's next for him. Miller was born in Queensland, Australia, and grew up in a home on the city's outskirts. A city where he created his fun. While riding quad bikes, motorbikes, water skiing, his siblings and parents gave him all the support he needed to grow his racing career from the beginning and eventually assisted him in achieving the career he has today. Miller started racing when he was eight years old on dirt bikes at the Australian Dirt Bike Championship for the 65cc class in 2003. He proceeded to claim victories in 2005, 2006 and 2007 Australian championships, including state and local titles in motocross events and dirt bike racing. He made a breakthrough in 2011 in Europe with a streak of powerful performances that ultimately allowed him to win the German IDM championship for the 125cc class when he was 16. Miller's performance attracted an Italian racing team, Forward Racing, that signed him to ride for Moto3 championship in 2012. Miller first stated the Moto3 World Championship in 2012 with Coretta Technology Forward Racing Team with a Honda chassis. The bike was not competitive, but Miller could still master the circuits he would race in the future. He completed the Moto3 Championship in 23rd position with 17 points and a 4th position at the Saxon Ring German Grand Prix, which was his best finish for the season. In 2013, Miller joined the German racing team with an FTR Honda chassis. He had 13 spectacular finishes that elevated him to position 7 at the end of the championship. The best results he received were two fifth places at the Australian Grand Prix and San Marino race. In 2014, Miller rose to KTM for the season and became a part of the Red Bull KTM Aho team. The season was a breakthrough for him as he recorded a pole position, podium finish, fastest lap and victory. Overall, Miller was victorious in six races during the season in Valencia, Australia, Germany, France, the USA and Qatar. He finished second in the championship behind Alex Marquez, missing the title by just two points. Miller graduated to the MotoGP class in the 2015 season and became a part of Team LCR, collaborating with Cal Crutchlow while riding a Honda RC213 VRS. He had the best finish in Catalonia, where he was in 11th place after the British Grand Prix, where he rose at the beginning but collided with Crutchlow on the third lap. He completed his rookie season in 19th position with 17 points. Miller joined the Mark VDS racing team for the MotoGP World Championship in 2016 and completed the race in 14th place in Qatar, then 10th place in Catalonia. He was having a great race at the 26th of June Assen race, but the race was stopped because of heavy rain. The race started again and Miller was head-to-head -head with the leaders in the beginning laps. He was in 4th position at lap 1's end and 3rd place after Andrea De Vizioso crashed out. Valentino Rossi was the race leader at the time, but he also crashed out in lap 3. Miller then sped past Marc Marquez to be the race leader. As the race continued, he held on to his wit and ultimately grabbed his first Premier Class win. Miller was the first Australian to be victorious at the MotoGP race since 2012 in Australia when Casey Stoner did the same. He was also the first satellite rider to claim a victory since 2006 when Tony Elias did the same in Portugal. The odds of Miller winning the race when he joined were 750 to 1, making his victory the biggest upset in the history of MotoGP. The rest of the season went south for Miller as he occasionally got injured, 
including in Austria where he broke a vertebra. He was in the top 10 three more times and finally reached 18th position at the end of the year after gaining 57 points. In 2017, Miller returned to the team and sometimes it would seem like he lacked the speed from the previous season. He rose and gained more points consistently. Honda recognized this and allowed him to ride for them at the Suzuka 8 hours. Miller had 9 finishes in the top 10 during the season, with a best performance of 6th position twice in Misano and Assen. He broke his leg before Japan while training, but still returned to Australia and was in the lead in the early laps where he finally finished in 11th position with 82 points. Miller joined Pramac Racing in 2018 with a Ducati. He was in fourth place twice in France and Argentina with another pole position in Argentina and finally concluded the season in 13th position with 91 points. For 2019, Miller stuck with the Pramac Racing Team. He was impressive after claiming five podiums and kept showing in his class the entire 2020 season with four more podium finishes. Miller made a deserved move to the factory squad and proved it in 2021 with two wins, three more podium standings, and fourth place in the World Championship. His form sometimes dropped during the 2021 season, but he kept persisting. After a fantastic finish to 2021, what is next for Jack Miller? KTM announced Jack Miller will be joining them as Miguel Oliveira's replacement for the 2023 MotoGP season. The rumors had been going around for a couple of weeks before KTM made the confirmation. He will represent the team for the coming two years. So why would Jack Miller leave Ducati without a second thought? Ducati has not always given Miller an easy time, as most would think, as he only achieved two wins and seven podiums. And with young riders knocking on Ducati's door, Miller has not been able to keep his position. With KTM, Miller will be with the manufacturer who he's worked with in the past during his Moto3 days. The Australian rider will now get an opportunity to take the manufacturer to greater levels. So there you have it. Jack Miller won't be hanging up his helmet anytime soon. He's not done yet with his racing career. And as crazy as he is on and off the track, we'd like him to stick around a few years yet and entertain us all. Here are some exciting things about Jack Miller. Number 1. Miller is well known by the paddock as a prankster with his reputation, and it would seem that it has always been his nature. When he was a kid, he successfully convinced his babysitter to drain his pool and make it into a do-it-yourself skate park. Number 2. Miller is gifted with farming skills. Based on the fact he grew in farmland, he reckons he would have been a farmer if he'd not joined MotoGP. He plans on returning to farming after retirement and having kids. Number 3. Miller loves his home farm so much that he stated if he were to become world champion, then he would take his team on a trip to his home and have one thrilling party. Number 4. Miller may be famous, but so is his French bulldog, which has been by his side throughout his racing career. Number 5. He thinks that cooking is his hidden talent. He even considers himself king of the grill at a barbecue party. Number 6. Miller has number 73 in 2011, while making his debut in Germany for the 125cc class. After joining the Moto3 class as a full-time rider, he changed to number 8. He has, however, always preferred the number 43 which by luck he got in 2015 when he rose to the Premier class. The number he started with was 543, but when he joined road racing, he removed the 5. Number 7. He's proud to be Australian, which would not be much of a surprise as Phillip Island is his favorite track, while his idol when growing up was Mick Doohan. Casey Stoner is also his other idol. Number 8. Miller loves rock and roll. His favorites are Dire Straits and Pink Floyd, and he even said he would like to invite Pink Floyd's drummer, Nick Mason or Mark Knopfler, the vocalist and guitarist, to the paddock. Number 9. While still a kid, he went on a trip of a lifetime with his father. They traveled for thousands of kilometers in a van across Australia. Number 10. It is good that Miller decided to be a racer because if not, then he would have ended up in a totally different career. He played a lot of rugby while growing up and is often spotted at one of the golf courses in his hometown. He also has a lot of time for fishing. Jack would make one fantastic angler. Personal life Jack Miller got engaged to Ruby Mao after he proposed to her. They're often spotted together, but the relationship is kept private. His net worth 
With his salary and endorsements, his net worth is estimated to be $16 million as of 2022, with most of it coming from his eye-catching racing career. Red Bull endorses Jack Miller and he's a Red Bull athlete. Kat also backs him up along with Red Bull. Miller's passion and authenticity have endeared him to KTM, but a lot of younger talent behind him is endless, meaning he has to stay at the top of his game or risk losing it all. So keep watching out for those young bucks, Jack. Be sure to check out Moto Plus for more fantastic videos. See you there!